with Shaken Bacons. I am not going to be able to see the Meg right away, so you're not going to see a review for that this weekend. I have a lot of family in town. They're all visiting me. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to find the time to get there. But I thought this weekend we could actually talk quickly about the movie pass meltdown because you guys know I have been a big proponent of movie pass and I've used it for months. That's how I always saw movies at such a good price that was affordable, budget friendly, you get the drill. And <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. Um, the movie pass meltdown, seriously, I figured it would happen. It was just a matter of time, but let's Let's talk about what it is. So for those of you who may not know what MoviePass is, MoviePass still is in business and it's a service, or at least it used to be a service, where you would pay about $9.99 or $9.95 or something like that a month and then you could see one movie a day for the entire month and not have to pay for those movies at the theater. So you just pay $9.95 a month, you can see any movie you want as long as it's 2D and it's not a premium screening and you can't see the same movie twice. That's what the MoviePass model is or was, should I say. So this means that for people who love going to the movies, like myself, instead of paying like $50 or more a month to go see a movie, you would just pay $9.99 or so and then see as many films as you wanted. The downside, of course, you can't see the same film twice. It has to be in 2D, which didn't bother me that much because my eyes go kind of squirrely when I watch 3D movies. So the 2D thing didn't bother me a whole lot. The problem with MoviePass is a little something called a business model. The CEO of MoviePass is actually known for and has a reputation for driving companies into the ground financially due to poor planning and unsustainable business practices. Most people looking at the MoviePass model saying, hmm, $9.99 a month for unlimited movies, but MoviePass is paying the theaters full price? How is this sustainable? Shockeroni. It's not sustainable. It's not. <laughs> things are falling to pieces. A couple things happened in quick succession. First thing was MoviePass ruled out surge pricing, where if you were seeing a movie during a peak time or that had high demand, they were gonna charge you an extra upcharge. Issue is people across the country, including people who lived in towns with very few people, would go to a show at like 10 in the morning and they'd be hit with five or six dollar surge fees and there's nobody in the theater. And this is for every showing, not just newly released blockbusters. We're getting hit with these fees. And so rapidly, even if you pay surge pricing, like for my area, it was a $6 surcharge. If you add the $9.99 a month and then you add on the $6 surcharges, it ended up costing me more per month to use MoviePass than to just pay the pricing at the theater, which is insane. Like it completely defeats the point. Then MoviePass had a service blackout and people were trying to go see films. It wasn't working and they couldn't figure out why. And it was the same weekend Mission Impossible Fallout came out and it came to light that they actually ran out of money. Let's, let's just think about that for a second. MoviePass ran out of money. Like they had nothing left. Whoa. They had a service blackout. They had to borrow money, get service back and pay people back, which is insane. And you're starting to see kind of where this train wreck is toppling off the rails. And then they came out that they were blocking big releases. They went from surge pricing to service blackout to now if there's a new blockbuster coming out, you don't get to see it if you have MoviePass. It kind of looks like the end is in sight. MoviePass did release a statement. I think it was today. We'll have a new plan that lets monthly subscribers see three movies a month for $9.95. You can see three standard movies for $9.95 and you get a discount on additional tickets within the billing cycle. This will be the only plan available. They're going to be bumping up everyone who has a lower plan. What's funny is that I still don't think that this is a sustainable business model. I canceled my MoviePass I don't think it's worth it anymore at this point. That's what's going on with MoviePass. I think it's really only a matter of time until they're completely out of business. Remains to be seen, however, they may recover somehow. I found a couple different alternatives that I wanna tell you guys about just real quick, and I'll tell you which one I've chosen. I don't think that the one I've chosen is the 
best bang for your buck. Let me just put that out there right off the bat. However, depending on where you live and the availability of theater chains in your area, that's what a lot of these alternatives depend on. So for some of you, maybe MoviePass, while it still lives, would be the best plan at three 2D movies for $9.95 a month. For me, I'm done. I'm done so I'm gone. So I think that the best plan that exists is the AMC Stubbs A-List. Now this plan I would recommend if you guys have AMC theaters near you. Um, I'm not sponsored, obviously. I just think personally this is the best option. It ends up being about $20 a month and you can see up to three movies a week. Doesn't matter if it's IMAX, doesn't matter if it's 3D, doesn't matter if it's a premium showing, doesn't freaking matter. You can see whatever you want three times a week. Effectively anywhere between nine to 12 movies a month for about 20 bucks and you get discounts on concessions, which for a lot of people who like to snack when they go to the theater is is a great thing. Granted, 10% isn't a whole lot, but it's, it's a thing, it's a thing. I think this is personally the best bang for your buck and the best deal if you live near an AMC theater. I don't live anywhere close to an AMC theater. Unfortunately for me, that was not the best plan. So what I ended up going with was the one I'm gonna talk about next, which is Cinemia. Cinemia has actually been around for a while, apparently, overseas. They have a business model that works. They've started bringing it into the US. They work with most theaters in the country, which is nice. Based on the plan that you get, you can see up to three movies a month in any format you want. IMAX, premium, whatever, if you have an elite plan, or they have a basic plan that is less expensive. You can see three movies a month at a standard viewing. It also comes with restaurant discounts and it comes with a family and friends type plan. So if you don't typically go to the movies alone, you can save money by getting their family plan. If you get the like the top tier package, um, at the time I'm filming this, they're doing a summer sale. It's $14.99 for one person and for their family and friends plan, it's $27.99. For me, they service a lot of the theaters in my area. At this point, I am finished dealing with MoviePass and they say they're gonna take away peak pricing and all this stuff. Honestly, they're gonna bring it back or they're gonna bring back some semblance of it because let's face it, their business model is not sustainable and they are deep in the hole right now and they gotta pay that money back somehow or they're gonna go bankrupt. So I went all in with Cinemia got the family plan since I don't usually go to the movies by myself, although I do sometimes. While three movies a month doesn't seem like that much, honestly, there isn't enough huge new releases a month that I feel strongly like I would need more than three movies per month. And if there is, in that case, I'll just pony up the $7.50 matinee price. For my area, this was the best plan. If you guys are interested in trying this, I will have a share link below. They're not sponsoring me or anything. It's gonna give you a discount of like $5. It's gonna give me a discount of $5. You don't need to use it. This is just if you're interested in trying it. Like I said before, I don't think that this is the best alternative, but if you live in an area where there really isn't anything else, it's, it's good. It's better than paying full price. So the last alternative that I've heard of is the Cinemark Movie Club. And honestly, I kind of think this one's garbage in, in my personal opinion, but it is an alternative. So I'll tell you guys about it. You pay um, nine bucks a month and you get one 2D movie ticket. Ticket singular. It's something, <laughs> whatever. It's not that great. You can get other tickets at an additional fee of like $8.99 or something, and you can bring a friend along with you and buy their ticket at a discount for $8.99, and you get 20% off of concessions, but it's like, meh. This is really, it's not that great. And I personally would pick, oh my God, I just sounded like that creepy old man from Family Guy. Did you guys hear that? Personally, personally, I can't do it again. How did I make that sound? I don't understand. <laughs> MoviePass was good while it lasted. At this point, it's it's still staying in the game somehow. I'm, I've personally pulled out of it. I'm kind of curious though. I don't know anyone that used it aside from me, although I know it was really popular. I've never heard anybody else talk about it or really touch on it, so I'm just curious. Did any of you try MoviePass or were you interested in it? Was it just me that used this? Are you interested in any of these other ones? Like if you go to the movies often enough, I think that they're a good deal. And I think the good thing that MoviePass did do was it showed that people are interested in going to the movie theater and they would do it way more if it was more affordable because movie theater pricing is just insane. Anyway, I hope you're all doing wonderfully. I hope you have a great weekend and I will catch you later.